Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to create a checkout page for a product and we're going to be doing this inside Thrivecart. So um, if you don't have Thrivecart already, you can get a lifetime license for this and it is super duper um, cheap and affordable. So I'm just going to go to my URL because I just know off by that, ipmoon.co.uk forward slash Thrivecart. And as you can see, you can get lifetime access to Thrivecart and it's only $495. And if you want the pro upgrade, $195. Not going into depth about anything about this. We do have another video, which we will link and you can go over to there and watch all about that. So I am basing this on, you know you're gonna be using Thrivecart, I'm gonna take you step for step on how to create a checkout page from scratch. So when you've got your checkout page, there's various different ways you can do it. And I'm gonna show you the different ones just so you can have more of an idea. So you can see I've got a few here and I'm just gonna create one from scratch. So what I'm going to do is say create product and this is going to be for digital products. I am going to create this for my Trello for social media course, which we can see here, which is also hosted inside Thrivecart itself. So I'm going to press create new product. And now what we can see here, I need to give my product a name. So I'm going to call it Trello social media course. If you want to put a little descriptive label in here too, you can. Um, I'm not going to do that for this moment. And you can have it in disabled, test mode, or live. So I'm just going to keep it in live for now. We're just going to keep it on live. And then I'm going to press next. So now we can set up our pricing. So the currency I want to use is British Pound. And I'm going to set my product price, which is a one-time fee of £27. And there's no trial period or anything like that. You can also have a subscription, a split pay, and pay your own price. So customer purchase email, yes, I want to send this as an initial one. And there is no limit to what people can actually purchase. So you can set quantity limits if you did want to. So we're going to press next. And on here it's saying um, it's what the pricing, the name of this pricing option is going to be. So I'm going to put one time payment, £27, just going to leave it at that. And I want to only allow one purchase at a time because there's no point someone buying multiple versions of the course and press save. And then here, if you have the pro version, you can automatically calculate tax, which I do need to do because I'm a VAT registered company in the UK. So I'm going to take this and use the five cart simple sales tax and press next. Um, it's going to be based on coaching, I would say, no, video training course. I can put this down as a video training course and then press next. And we're going to put here where you want to do. So I have to just say... Do, I have to collect tax. I leave all this blank basically because I do need to collect UK VAT. Um, I don't need to collect EU VAT, so I'm going to take that. Um, do I collect sales tax in local country? Let me just check this. That's fine. So I'm just going to take that one. And then I have to put my details in, save the tax settings, and happy days. So here is if you want to send a the customize the payment notification. So there's a detailed one or a basic one, which basically just gives them the full details of information. I want to do a detailed one so that they get their full details about my company and stuff and they can have, get a full invoice. So if you have a look here, you can actually customize what this looks like. So I can upload my logo. So if I just find my logo, da, 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 da. Thankfully, everything is all in nicely laid out folders for me. So I've got the IT Moon logo. So now it's put the IT Moon logo in. I can change the colors. So if I want to change the color of my buttons and things, so I've got mine copy and pasted. So I can put my orange theme on. Um, we have a dark blue one, which will probably be that. So I can do that, which I'm going to stick to that actually. You can change the background if you want to. So I could put in what we use as like background colors if I wanted to and the text color I'm going to actually keep the text color it um actually I'll change the text color to my own um there we go so I've got that and if I just put some well there we, we can say here you can put a bit of text at the top of the payment notification so it could be something you put thank you for your purchase something like that and you can have bottom text as well so you can put this is your tax invoice for instance and then press save and there you go so if you do press preview you can see what it looks like so now she's got a bit of branding and it looks more like me so now i'm going to press next again 
oh, by the way, just so you know, you can have more than one pricing option. Um, so like if we look at this here, we can see that I have different pricing options depending on how many of something people want to get. So you can put more than one pricing option in there. So next we're going to press next. And it's going to say, do I want to set up a bump offer on this product? So this is a bump offer. So get a social media banner included. That is a bump offer. Um, and I've got one on here. Yep. So I've got one on here. Special offer, social media graphic promo pack. That's a bump offer. So if you did want to do one, all you need to do is tick this box here. And now it's saying what type of offer is it? So it's going to be digital. I'm going to say this is, I think I've got it in here. Yeah, I'm going to say this is going to be a bump offer for Publa scheduling social media. I'm going to just call it Publa course. Oh, there we go. And I'm just going to put it as a bump offer that they can get it for, I don't know, we're just going to say £7 um, for the sake of it. Um, it should bump up pre-selected. Pre so I'm going to select no, I don't want it pre-selected. And then I can press next. Next, we set up our payment processes. So I'm going to press set up and I'm just going to have Stripe. I like to keep it nice and simple. And I've already got this connected up. But if you haven't, you can just press add new and it will allow take you through the steps to do it. And you can also do it at the top here. So if you go to da, 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 where are we? in your account settings, it's within there. So next, I'm going to press next. Um, it says, do I want to have any affiliates to promote this product? Right now, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to cover it in here either. And press next. So now we've gone from the product fit here to the fulfillment one. So now we're going to say, what's going to happen when someone purchases? So when they purchase, they need to access my product, which is actually inside my membership site. So I can say, right, that my support email is going to be admin, itemo.co.uk. I want to add them to Thrive Cat Learn. And I want them to add them to the Trello for social media course. And that's it. And then for also, if they do the bump purchase, I want to add them to the public course if they do the bump. And then send students to a custom success page before accessing the course. That's totally optional. So if I had a custom thank you page, maybe on my website or anything like that, I could do that. But I don't need to do that in this instance. And then I'm going to press next. So just to recap, actually, before I do, this is going to, when someone purchases, so after purchase, it's going to add them into Thrivecart Learn. And that's within Thrivecart itself up here. You get it as part of the lifetime license. It's going to add them to the social media course that I've got in there. And it's also going to add them to the public social media scheduling course, which is a bump purchase. And then I'm going to press next. So now there's two main ways. We get, so you can have pop-ups and embeddables. Embeddable means you get like a code and you can put it on your website then. Um, but I'm going to show you the two different ones here. So standard, this is when it's side by side like this. This is a standard checkout. So you've got some information on the left or the right, etc., and then the checkout bit on the other side. Whereas this sales cart one, this looks more like this. So it's like a scroll through and the complete order is right at the bottom. So it totally depends on what kind of style that you kind of want on this. So I'm just going to go for the standard and then press next. And then it's going to say design your cart, launch editor. You can buy designs online um, and things like that. So you can import these in here and you can also share your own designs if you've created a very good design. But what you're going to do is press launch editor. And then this is going to bring you in here. So this is how what it looks like by default, which obviously isn't very pretty right now. So we can change things such as on here, the cart style. So we can change it to boxed, which would make it look like this. Or we can change it to a full page like this. So I'm just going to leave that at that. And like the sidebar, this is where you can switch it up. So you can have the price and details and stuff on here. And then the checkout information on here. Or you can have it the other way around. I like to have it on this way. You can have multi-step or single step. So multi-step means they press continue and then it asks for their card details. I personally prefer single step to give them less things to be worried about. Now we can put the sidebar colors in. So I'm just going to put some of my colors in so that we can actually flesh this out. So we can see already now it's starting to look more like me. Um, I'm actually going to probably have that just as white, I think. Yeah, for now. Then we can choose our font. So, so there's several different fonts. Majority of them are like the Google fonts that you can get on here. Um, we normally use, I honestly can't remember what it is. I think it's Roboto now. Oh no, we've changed it to Nunito. So there we go. So I can change that on here. And then social show section titles. If you look there, so it's no title there. Turn it on and it puts contact information in there. 
And that's how you can do this bit. You can press adjust spacing and you can adjust things like the gap between them. You can change the gaps at the top. So the vertical spacing on there as well. And then what I like to do is um, add different things. So you can see the different elements on here. But I'm going to do that in a second because before, this is what a lot of people miss, is this contact information box. If you click on it, you can actually customize what's asked for. Now, I need to know their name. I want their name. So I'm going to put in here, I need their first and last name. Um, it's also going to ask for their email address. Business name is optional if you want to or required. I don't really need it, so I'm going to leave it off. Don't need the contact number, so I'm going to leave that as disabled. But their address, I do need the full address. I am taxed, and I want to be able to make sure that I've got all their correct things. And obviously, because I am VAT registered, I want to enable that as an optional field as well. You can add custom fields in here. And you can set them up and add some custom ones in, such as it might be how did you hear about us or anything like that. You can put a short show terms and conditions in here and you can link in your terms and conditions um, for their the page and then they'll be able to go off to the terms and conditions. Um, you also have an opt-in box saying that to opt into email marketing at the same time as well. So just going to press done on that. So that's already added some special, more actual elements to this that we're going to potentially need on here. So it's nice and simple. And just so you know, for this, what it does is it doesn't default to United States. It defaults to where they are. So if they are in the UK, that will say the UK at the top, just so you know. So next up, we're going to start customizing this bit here. So this is the bump offer. So if we click on this, you can see you can edit the text. So we can pick, why not learn how to schedule your post to special one-time offer for seven pound i'm gonna put um learn step by step how to use public for free to schedule your social media that you've planned through the trello course so you can just add some text in here like that and then if you want to, you can add an image on as well. So I don't actually want to add an image on this. So I will turn that off. So on the left hand side here, you can turn it off. You can also turn the heading off, etc. And you can add an arrow in, which I do like to add the arrow in. You can make it have a background color. So that looks a bit different if you want to. I want the border color to look like my orange. So I'm going to put the orange in there. And there's another color I want to change, which is the toggle color like that gonna actually keep that as red be arrow there so it's nice and simple and we can change the lines if we wanted but i prefer that one anyways so that's all good so now it's looking a bit better already so the last bit i want to customize on this side of the page is this bit here where it says complete order so you can have an image as a button if you really want to but i would just use the standard button and you can have it smaller or full width i prefer full width and again i'm just going to put my branding in there so it looks more like my actual branding go back on you can change the border radius so you can make it more curved we can change the padding on the text the text size so if you want it to be a bit bigger which i actually do want it to be a bit bigger uh, that'll do you can change the text color you can change if you have the different card icons so you've got here the full amount of card icons are limited i'm just leaving it as full and then i can press done and um, here at the bottom you can turn off the five cart logo but i prefer to see that people actually see this as a good security measure that it is through five cart which is totally partnered with stripe and it just makes it feel a bit better but you can also add some custom footer links in here as well if you wanted to but i do not want to do that so i'm going to untick that so next up let's customize this right hand side so if we click on it we can put an image in so i'm just going to put an image in that i just downloaded earlier let me find my downloads Let's have a see, will that one look all right? So we'll click on the image, use image, and now it's going to put that image on there. And then if you click on that box, you can change things such as the text color. You can decide to turn the image off if you want to. And you can change the image size so you can make the image bigger. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger, actually. And you can change if you want to have a background color or not on it. And then in this total payment section here, what you can do change the text color pretty much it there's nothing else that you can do on it um but what i want to do now is i want to make it look better 
So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add in here, where is it? An image. I'm just going to pop an image in here, another image that I've got. There we go. So now that I've got a different image on here and I can change again the text width and stuff. So I can change that on there. You can change the ordering quite simple by just dragging things around. It's nice and simple. Like if I wanted that bit to be there, I can drag that. And there we go. So already it's starting to look a bit different. If we wanted to add a different contact box right at the top here, and then you might want to have a heading up here. You could do that as well, for instance, so you can use content boxes as well. I'm not going to teach you the full design of all this, just going to teach you basically how to create the checkout page. Another thing that I like to have is at the bottom here, I like to have the guarantee. Um, so on here, what we do is I like to have the secure encryption on there. So I put that in and then I'm actually going to change this to a column. So I'm going to put columns in and then put that into a column. And then I'm just going to have another guarantee seal. And I will put in the trusted seller and put that in there. And it just makes it look a little bit better like that. Then if you wanted to, you could put some testimonials in. So you can put testimonials in like that and you can just type them up. Um, for simple sake, I have some already, but I've got them as images just to make my life easier so I don't have to type them out. So I'm just going to drag another image in and upload that and put in that image for my feedback. So we can see there that I've got the image. I can make that a bit smaller. And then to save dragging another one over if I wanted to, you can just press the copy button and it'll copy it there for you. And I can just change what that's going to be. But also you can change this so that it's got two, but that makes it a bit, you can't actually see it, for instance. Um, even if it was full screen, you probably find it a bit harder to read. Um, so what I'm going to do is upload another image on here. And already you can see we have already made this look much better than what you did earlier. And it's got all our branding in it all ready to go. So once you've added everything in that you want, you can have countdown timers by way. And I'm just going to mention countdown timers. You'll find you can't drag them anywhere apart from above. So countdown timers can only go at the top. Just so you know that. Right. Delete that there. You press the mobile view. You can see what it's going to look like on mobile. So you can see this is what it would look like. And if you want to drag anything around on there, drag it around, go back to desktop. Everything else is still the same on this side. So it's taught to you on how you want to use that. Um, right. So if we press next, it's going to take us to the success page. I will do a very basic customization on this in clicking on all of the different colors and making sure that I put in my own branding. And then my own branding happy days you can put some images etc like you could before but it's totally up to you i'm just going to keep it as that so next we're going to press complete so we've designed our checkout out it's all looking fantastic and now we can press next if you want to add any tracking in you can put all this here and then we're going to press next now this is something i really like so i use active campaign for email marketing so i want them to get added to my email marketing system as well so i can put here add a rule so when the main product is purchased, use Active Campaign because I've already connected Active Campaign. And then I can put add them to, and I can put a new tag, a normal do tags instead of this. And I can put something like product, I can't remember what the tag is, or by art, or social media, and press save. And then I could add another rule, and I can put, where are we? When the bump offer is purchased, then add a new tag, product, product course and press save and there we go so now it's going to add them into active campaign automatically for me so next if i press save and get url i'm going to get the url so here we go so i've got the url here so if somebody went to that url this is what they would see and then they can check out if they add that to their order bump it changes the cost here to 40 pound 80 we can see it's automatically worked out VAT because I'm based in the UK. And then all I would do on my actual Elementor page, for instance, that I use for my actual sales page, I would just have a button and put the link in there so people can actually go off and buy the course. And that's it. So that's how you create your Thrive Cart checkout. And then now if you actually go into products, 
you will see is listed there. You can edit it at any point. You can do other things now, such as create a funnel using upsells and downsells, which we're not going to go to in here. And it's just nice and simple to use. So I hope that was useful for you. Please, if you did enjoy the video, subscribe. If you haven't purchased Thrivecart yet, we would love if you can support us by using our own link, which is itmoon.co.uk forward slash Thrivecart. But otherwise, have an amazing day and any questions, pop them in the comments.